Hey everybody, Sam back once again, and yes, finally got my hands on a BlackBerry Key 1. Now, it's not a true unboxing because it has been opened before and actually used by somebody else, but I'm going to unbox it for you to show you what you do get inside the box because, hey, we all like these type of videos. But mainly, I'm going to give you a first impression. Now, I've been using it for a day or two, maybe three days now, I think, to maybe two or three. Um, anyway, I have really been enjoying it. I'm just going to give you a couple of you know, insights as to why. So, let's see what we'll get inside. That's funny, you all probably know most of this anyway. But around the box, just on the back of the box, it gives you all the main specifications. So as you can see there, it is a 4G LTE Cat 6. So yeah, it's not the fastest 4G in the world. The 4.5 inch IPS, it's classed as a 1080p display, kind of, because it's got the 1080, but obviously the screen resolution, because the screen size, is kind of being chopped off a bit. But it has got 343, PPI, yeah. Now, one thing that I'm always hesitating on is regards to the chipset the stick I've put inside this bad boy. So it is a Snapdragon 625, three gig of RAM, so this is not the four gigabyte version. Also 32 gig of internal storage, as you can see. A 12 megapixel on the back, which seems to be pretty good, and eight megapixels on the front, and a pretty large battery. And I like the fact, OS, oh, the latest Android, I like the fact that they actually don't just say it's Android 7 or Android 7.1. It's the latest version of Android. And ever actually since I got this, it has had an update to the September um, security patch. So yeah, I've been impressed by it. Now, as you all know, it's not made by BlackBerry. Um, it's just got the BlackBerry branding on there. And I think they do the software side of it. So again, BlackBerry Key 1. On the bottom of the box, it's just got all the kind of uh, IMEI details and all that kind of mumfo bumfo. When you open it up, you are presented with the phone. Hola. And I must say, it is a nice quality box. And you all know I like a good quality box. <laughs> yeah, giggity. And as you can see, some of the cables are already out of there. So inside here, you get your SIM ejector and your instructions. So as you see, it's just a standard affair for a SIM ejector. I would have liked a nice BlackBerry looking one. You know, I, I think the personal touches like that would have you know, been a bit nicer. An example like the Nokia ones that you used to get. So you do get a USB Type-C cable, as you can see just about here, just a standard USB Type-C affair. You also get your power brick. So obviously we're in the UK, you're gonna get this. Don't forget to try and unpop it like that. And the bottom, you get some more earbuds, kind of, kind of jelly kind of things for your ears. So if you've got bigger ears or small ears, boom, you are okay with that one. And the actual charger itself, let's see if we can see what's it rated at. Da, da, da. So it looks like it is nine volt, two amp. So I think that's, I think that might support fast charging. The phone itself, I think supports fast charging. Um, I've actually not, it does boost, it does boost charging. I should probably check that one out, shouldn't I? I will check out if, uh, if we do the full review. And then you get the headphones as well, which is the BlackBerry branded headphones. And from what I've been told, they are meant to be pretty damn good. So yeah, that's it. That's what you get inside the box. Here is the star of the show. And first thing I'll tell you is, the build quality of this phone is absolutely, oh seriously, it is epic. I am so shocked at how good this is. So here it is. It has got a screen protector on there, but as you can see, it wasn't fitted perfectly. It's got like a little bubble. So I'm gonna be taking this one off when my uh, new set arrives. Let's turn it on for you so you can actually see the boot up. And while it's booting up, we'll actually take you around the device as well. So at the bottom of it, hopefully you can just see right about there, you've got your speaker and a microphone. Now it is only one speaker from what I can tell, a USB type C and I think the microphone's in this side here. Down the right side has got the, it's kind of like an all function key. I forgot what they call it now off the top of my head, but effectively you can make that anything you want it to be. So if you want it to be a button to launch the camera or something like that, you can choose to do that. Got your volume up and down. Let's see if I can uh, change the exposure there for you. Ba boom Here we go, looks a little better, doesn't it? So as I said, there you've got the actual button there, the volume up and down. And I think this is the SIM tray just up here, if I'm not mistaken, might be. Anyway, headphone jack, where you were obviously gonna put your headphones. It's actually the power button on this side. So when using it, I'll be honest with you, I've wanted the power button here. That would be a perfect place for the power button. 
And I do think the BlackBerry should allow us to remap the both buttons to maybe say, right, I want this for my power button and I want this to be the function key. Um, just for the fact that I really enjoyed using the button there, but not as a power button. So yeah, is that I suppose. On the front of it, as you can see there, it's got the eight megapixel camera and I loads of kind of sensors and stuff like that in there. Jumping back onto the back, there's that 12 megapixel sensor with the LED flash. Now this sensor is the same one they use in the Google Pixel and it's meant to be one of the better sensors out there. Um, again, I've, I've had limited kind of time with the phone in terms of taking a lot of pictures. First impressions are it's pretty decent. Um, some people have been saying it's actually fantastic. I've not found it that yet, but again, I've only had it for a limited time. So I'm gonna reserve kind of judgment on that one for now. On the front of it, as you can see, you have your back home and your multitasking. You can see there's a lot of glare where I am right now, and then you've got your keyboard. So this is what sets this phone apart from any other phone. Apart from obviously looking the way it does, because let's be honest, when was the last time you saw a phone that, was, that looked like this, and it kind of felt like this? It feels like a little tank. Actually a fairly mid-sized tank, but it feels like an absolute tank. So you can see there, there is that uh, keyboard. Now here, underneath the um, space bar, is the fingerprint scanner, which won't work now, so I'm just gonna put in my passcode. All right, so I'm just gonna turn it back off just to so you can see how fast the actual fingerprint scanner is. So if I just tap it, boom, you're in. Boom, you're in. And I'll be honest with you, I've been very impressed by the actual speed of the fingerprint scanner. It doesn't really, and it's got not, not many hiccups at all. And see how small it is? Go back into there. See how small it is? It doesn't look like it's the biggest sensor in the world. It is very, very accurate and very, very, very fast and very impressed indeed. Now I actually have <laughs> turned off majority of the BlackBerry stuff. So you normally get like a little, uh, little sidebar here, similar to the Samsung kind of swiping for the edge. I just didn't find it productive at all. It just seemed to slow me down and the BlackBerry hub. Now I use multiple emails and I use Newton and it does everything for me inside there. Obviously Newton doesn't hook in to the BlackBerry Hub properly, so it's useless for me personally. I run multiple email accounts and I don't want them, I don't want all the accounts on my phone. This, the BlackBerry Hub needs majority of them from what I can understand, all of them on your phone. Whereas with Newton, I have all my emails within the app and that just does everything for me. So I need to have one email address attached to the phone and that's it. That's just how I prefer it. Um, yeah, there's no gallery app, so you do get Google Photos, but there's no actual gallery app as such, so I have installed my own. And in terms of what else you get, I mean, again, this is just a kind of first impressions kind of thought of it. Again, I've only had it for a couple of days. So you get BBM, you get the BlackBerry Help, um, as you get your calculator, you get a lot of Google stock Google apps, which is very nice. So you get the DTEC by BlackBerry, seems all right. A, don't know how useful it's really, really going to be. Um, again, I will go through it in full, you know, in kind of like a full um, review. If you want to see a full review, that is. Um, some people just want to kind of know my thoughts about it on Twitter or on Facebook, etc. If you want to know a full review, leave me a comment down below. If you want like a hints and tips or whatever it might be, if you want some video tests, etc. Hit me up on Twitter, at Sam J. Pull on Instagram, Facebook, you name it. I'm at the exact same place everywhere online at Sam J. Pullum. And I'll do my best to provide those videos for you. But that's it, I mean, again, I don't really wanna go into a full in-depth kind of test now, purely for the fact I've only did it for a couple of days. But in terms of the actual build quality and the snappiness, seems to be pretty good. I am thinking they should have possibly gone with a faster processor, personal opinion, again. A lot of people like it because it's very good on battery life, and it is, it has got a fantastic battery life from what I've seen so far. But again, we're paying, what, 500 pounds for these now, or 450 pounds or so. A slightly faster, snappier processor. Bump that price up an extra 50 quid to get that chipset in there. But then again, it, it will obviously reduce the battery life, so you swing some roundabouts, I suppose. But that's it, that's just my unboxing, my first impressions. Um, I love the phone in terms of the build, the actual hardware is absolutely fantastic. And the actual software is a very stock build, so it feels very stockish in the way it kind of works. 
I do like the way they do the multitasking. So you kind of get them there. So if I open up another app, so let's open up and open messages because there's no in there and the Play Store. So as you can see here, it kind of changes the size of some of them. And if you want to close this, just close it and you can see it changes them. I actually really like that and I think that's a very cool uh, kind of looking one that Blackberry does offer. You can change it, you can make it back to stock if you want, but I kind of like that little tweak they've added in there. But that's it, I'm going to get off, I'm going to shut up. Uh, again, thank you for watching the video. I know I've had a lack of videos. Again, I'm always saying I'm going to do more videos. It's just hard from where I am right now, uh, where I'm living. I'm living in on Malta, so if you didn't know, and it's not easy to do videos out here. So I do them when I can. Again, it's a hobby, it's not a job. Um, I wish it was, but right now, not possible. But that's it, people. If you have any questions about the key one or anything else, you know what to do by now. You can hit me up on Twitter, at Sam J. Pullum. If you are new to the channel, Pullum, please hit the subscribe button. It is very much appreciated. And go on, it's free. And go on, smash that like button. You know you want to. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you want to check out my previous videos, they're on screen for you now. And again, that subscribe is right there. Anyway, thanks for watching. And you'll see me, well, you'll probably hear me in my next video. Cheers, everyone.